Hi everyone, in this video we are going to explore some of the Education Plus features available within Google Classroom. Let's start by going into the Classwork page. And in here there is an assignment I started creating earlier which I need to finish. So let's select Edit Assignment. And the feature I want to focus on first of all is Classroom Add-ons. Classroom Add-ons lets you bring content you've created in other EdTech apps such as Kahoot, Genially, Adobe Express and many more and bring those into Google Classroom assignments and use those in the assignments you're giving out to your students. So for example, if I select Google Arts and Culture and then let's search for the water cycle. We can then browse for and search for the right content for our assignments. Let's go with this one and then select Attach. And that brings that Google Arts and Culture content into our Google Classroom assignment, which we can then assign to our students so they can view. Next, let's look at this assignment where I want to add a YouTube video, but also add some interactivity for our students as well. So I'm going to select the YouTube option here. And then I can either search for a video or paste the URL if I already have that to hand. Uh, in this case, let's search for a video about plastics uh, in our ocean from National Geographic. Okay, so this is a video I'm looking for. Let's select this one. And one of the nice features available in Google Classroom with Education Plus is we automatically have some suggested questions here ready for us to use. So let's press add questions now. And if we scroll down, we can see the suggested questions here. These have been added as multiple choice questions. The correct answers have already been selected for us. And these questions have been inserted at the correct point within the video. So that when a student is watching this video back, they will be prompted with this question to check their understanding. Another nice feature here is we can actually try this out as a student before posting this assignment. So let's try that now and let's fast forward and hit play. And in a moment, the video should pause and our first question should pop up. Okay, let's try selecting an answer. And we got that one right, brilliant. So let's attach this now to our assignments. And of course, I've got the freedom to add my own questions as well, but I'm happy with the suggested questions. So let's now go ahead and assign this assignment to our students and press assign. In the next example, we are going to look at a built-in feature within Google Classroom called Originality Reports. Once Originality Reports is enabled, any assignment submitted by students is automatically checked against millions of books and websites, helping ensure that the content submitted is original and properly referenced. With Education Plus, teachers get unlimited use of Originality Reports, and it also enables a feature called School Matches, which compares student work against other students within the school and student matches is entirely private to your domain. And as I mentioned, it's super simple to set up. All we need to do is select check plagiarism originality and then press assign. Okay, one more example now. This one, we're going to look at a feature called practice sets. With practice sets, I can either create a new one or use a practice set I made earlier. Let's select this one. I like to think of practice sets as the next evolution of Google Forms quizzes. Within practice sets, we can define our questions. We can set what should be the correct answer and incorrect answers. And uniquely, we can add skills to these questions for our students, along with added resources as well. So as you can see here in our first question, we've selected skills, explain causes and effects of water pollution, along with some extra resources as well. So we have an additional hint and some video resources. So if a student gets this question wrong, they have some recommended resources from their teacher to give them some help. Just like Google Forms, we can have different types of questions. We can use multiple choice, free text, and practice sets even includes its own equation editor. So all my questions are ready to go now. So let's try this out as a student first of all. Great, so this is now the student view. So let's answer our first question and press check to see if we got the correct answer. And when we do, we get a nice green tick 
Let's move on to our next question and let's guess at 2 million tons. I'm not entirely sure. Let's press check. Okay, we got some wrong. But as you can see here on the top right hand side, we have a light bulb where we can show a hint. And this is where the student can then watch the recommended video from our teacher for this question. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how this is working now. So let's go back to Google Classroom Teacher View and press done editing and now attach this to our assignment and then assign this to our students. Also within Google Classroom, teachers have analytics to see analytics for their own classes. But as a school leader or head of department, I can also be given access to school analytics. This Education Plus feature lets us see Google Classroom usage across our entire domain, or at least for those classes my Google Workspace Administrator has given me access to. At a high level, I can see assignment completion rate, average grade, and the number of active students. If we scroll down, I can see more details about the classes. I can also filter this view by students and by organizational unit. But let's go back to a class view and let's select one of these classes. So let's go and take a look at the geography class. And now I can see the statistics for this class just as before. I can filter by date. So I can look at the last 365 days or all activities since January or August to capture the entire academic year. I can also see the individual students within this class and I even have the ability to go and visit this class. So let's select that now. I need to provide a reason why I'm visiting this class. So in this case, I'm going to provide teacher support. I can also optionally add a message and a teacher will be notified that I am now visiting their class. This gives me access to their classroom for two hours. During that time, I've got full access to look at assignments and student work. I can make changes to enrollments for teachers and students. I can also view student grades. And this is a really nice feature, whether you're providing cover for a teacher, supporting a teacher, or need to view some student work across different Google Classrooms. Well, that's it for this video today. I hope you found it useful and thank you for watching.